Okay, so this illustration was made for Affinity Designer and I was commissioned to create it to celebrate their new software update that was just released like a few days ago. Um, and it was the first time I used Affinity Designer, so I didn't really know what to expect. I heard good things about it from Christy Lutoit, but it obviously works kind of different than the way I do, so, so I wasn't sure what's gonna happen. And it took me like a couple of days until I kind of started feeling comfortable using the software and started enjoying the process. Um, but overall I think it's a great software and I want to share some of the things that I kind of like that I liked and disliked about it. And this video is not being sponsored by Affinity or anybody else. So I just want to share with you my honest opinion about uh, using this software. Okay, so let's start. Um, the first thing that is uh, very different from Photoshop is the fact that you can actually work with um, with an environment which is completely vector and create vector illustrations and then save them as SVGs or EPS files which is super great and very very helpful if you are um, working on different kind of projects I mean sometimes I have to use uh, vector shapes because sometimes for projects that involve animation or like things that goes online for like web designs and stuff like that you kind of have to work with vector shapes so this is very very helpful uh, but the thing is it's only half of the abilities that Affinity has you can actually switch your uh, environment and use the pixel persona um, and then you can actually use brushes and add textures and you know details with uh, and just work freely with your brushes to add lines and details to your illustration so uh, you kind of can you can kind of enjoy both worlds, and I think it's a really really good thing, um, especially if you especially if you consider the price that you're getting uh, Affinity Designer. Um, I mean, if you want to get the same things out of uh, Adobe, you'll have to pay for the whole suit, and then the price is much higher. So, so if the budget is something that is important to you, I'll definitely recommend checking Affinity Designer. A few more things that I liked about it was the pen tool which is just very very uh, easy to use and I just liked using it uh, slightly better. And the text tool when you want to uh, align your text on a certain path or like a shape. Um, I didn't do it in this illustration but I did it in uh, something else that I worked on. Um, and it's just super super intuitive and easy to use. And it's just something that was always a pain in the ass um, doing in Photoshop. So I just really like their text tool. Um, and another good thing would be the symmetry tool, which you can use when working with your brushes. Um, and this just saves so much time um, and, and make things super precise. So I really, really enjoyed it as well. Um, the only thing that, I, that was kind of missing for me was the fact that you can't use color selection to uh, you know, isolate a certain texture from a photo or, um, or just pick a certain color from all your canvas and then change it or something like that. Um, maybe I'm missing something and there's actually an, an option to do it in Affinity Designer but I couldn't figure it out uh, for myself so this is like the only thing that I feel is kind of missing for me for my own personal process of creating illustrations and designs. Oh, another huge bonus for me would be the fact that it actually works amazing on iPads and touch screen screens. And I think it's just a great thing to have when I'm out of the studio and I still need to work on files. And, you know, Procreate is great, but it's for me it's mostly for fun and playing and creating simple illustration. It's not really fitted for my, uh, you know, really complex way of working and creating illustrations with a tons of layers and shapes. So I think having Affinity on the iPad can really save me, can, can become really helpful for me when I'm out of the studio and still wanna, you know, make a few tweaks to a certain uh, project that I'm working on. Overall, I think it's super great and I really enjoy the process of working with Affinity. Alright, so I also wanted to give you a few recommendations for videos and channels uh, here on YouTube that you can uh, watch. Uh, I mean, I always look for new uh, illustration and design content on YouTube, so I thought I'll share these with you uh, and you might enjoy them as well. The first channel that I really like is called uh, Strutless. 
I discovered it uh, very recently and I think it's great and you, can, you, you should totally check it out. I'm gonna add a link in the description to one of my favorite uh, videos. And this guy makes really cool illustration, he has a super interesting style and he actually makes like super fun videos where he draw the same character in 10 different styles so these videos are super fun to watch and I think you also need to check out his other videos where he just talks to the camera and give advice or like I don't know his opinion on different stuff that relates to artists and being a creative person and all that so I think he's a super smart guy and he makes really good videos so, so I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy his videos and, uh, in, and in one of his videos he actually recommended a video by Max, uh, what's his name, Max Joseph and then I kind of discovered Max's channel and discovered this really really cool video that I wanted to share with you as well it's called uh, Dicks, do you need to be one to be a successful leader? and it actually deals with the question of whether or not a director, like a film director needs to be very aggressive and you know basically be a dick in order to to create a very good film um, you know just in order to get shit done you know get things the way he wanted them to be um, so it basically deals with these questions uh, that is super relevant for anyone who is creative and trying you know to make creative projects collaborate with other people um, or working with you know clients and things like that and there's always this struggle and you always need kind of want to push things to your creative vision, I guess. Um, so it kind of deals with this question and it's kind of funny, you know, thinking about it. I think a lot of my friends who are designers and illustrators uh, would say I'm kind of a dick <laughs> when it comes to, uh, you know, working with me. I'm, you know, they would say I might be a bit aggressive and pushy. And when you ask like my other friends, like regular friends, they'll probably say I'm the, the most relaxed and quiet person they know so uh, it's kind of funny thinking about you know this question you know whether or not you're aggressive um, and pushy with you know with your creative work I think I'm yeah I'm definitely on the pushy and aggressive side when it comes to my uh, you know my passion my creativity and I always you know maybe it feels kind of aggressive sometimes but I'm actually just really want to make uh, things you know on the best side on the best creative side as possible um, so anyway I think it's it's a really good video and you know if you ask me like the answer to this question is no you don't need to be a dick you just need to stand your ground and you know fight for what you believe uh, the creative vision should be for any project that you're working on. So anyway, I think it's a great video and I'm sure you will enjoy it and appreciate it if you're a creative person. So uh, check it out, there's a link in the description as well. Uh, another, cool video, another cool YouTube channel that I recently discovered is called Slu and this guy is I just really like his vibe, he's super cool, just a cool dude making mostly like oil paintings and murals and things like that and yeah he's just making fun videos, cool process videos that I really like watching so so I'm gonna add a link to one of my personal favorite videos from SLU well I didn't really mention a lot of other channels that I really like watching so I'm just gonna pop them now on the screen in case you're wondering you know what type of channels I like watching on YouTube um, and last thing I want to say thanks to all of you for watching I've recently got a ton of emails and DMs on Instagram and some of you guys are posting stuff on the discord server and I just wanted to say thanks for the support uh, some of you are actually buying t-shirts from my shop and supporting the channel so thanks so much for that it really means a lot to me and Please feel free to post more uh, illustration and design works on the Discord channel. I, I really want to make more reviews and talk about your illustration and design and try to help you out. So uh, feel free to do so. So yeah, thanks so much guys. Love you. See you next time. Bye.